Good evening. Jose Correa, can you hear me? Good evening. Sí. Good evening. Good evening, Francisco. Welcome back. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Francisco? I am fine. Very fine. Good, very good. How was your day? Was good. It was. Excellent. It was. It was. Thank you. It was good. Good. Excellent. What about you, Jose Correas? Good. Excellent. Very good. So what's new? Do you guys have plans for vacation? Only work. <laughs> Only work, huh? Yep. Yeah. Most people, they have to work. Most people, they have to work. Yep. All right. What's today's date? What's the date? Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday. How do you spell Tuesday, Francisco? Excuse me? How do you spell Tuesday? T U E S D A Y. Very good. Capital T or lowercase? Capital. Good. And what's the month, people? What's the month? September? April? June? April. April. Yes. Moises, how do you spell April? Moises, can you hear me? Tell me, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. How do you spell April, tell me? A-P-R-E-L. E-L or I-L? I-L. I-L. Capital A or lowercase? Capital. Very good. And what's the date? Anybody, what's the date? Five. Five or fifth? Fifth. Fifth. Why fifth and not five? What's the reason we say fifth and not five? But uh, to mm. Ay, no sé cómo decirle que hasta el nueve. Mm. Dice... Not exactly. Recuerde que todo el calendario en inglés es ordinal. Hasta el número 9 decimos 809, 807. Ok, so we say 5th. Today is April 5th. Yes. Okay. All right. And what's the year, people? Twenty twenty two. 2022. That is correct. Thank you for being on time. Thank you for being punctual. All right. So let's talk a little bit about uh, the topics we covered yesterday. <coughs> mm -hmm. Yesterday saw the past, uh, simple past, and uh, simple continuous. Okay. Pa pa past past continuous. continuous. Past, past continuous. continuous. Yes. Yes. Today we have more practice with the simple past tense. 
uh, remember there are 12 tenses, 12 grammatical tenses in English. And um, some tenses have more demand than others, right? And simple past tense has a lot of demand. He has a lot of demand, okay? Questions or comments about the simple past? No question. Okay. Uh, William Perez, can you hear me? Present teacher. Okay. What is, what's the auxiliary we use to make questions in the simple past, William? I use auxiliary did. Good, very good. Uh, Andrea, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, so when you make a question with did, what happens to the main verb? What is the form? Base form. Base form, very good. Um, Moises, can you hear me? Bueno, ya le pregunté, ¿verdad? Ya le pregunté. No, no. Okay. Uh, what's the auxiliary we use when we talk about conditions in the past? Remember, we have actions and we have conditions. What's the auxiliary we use to talk about conditions in the past? Uh, the most, must be, uh, should be. No. Conditions in the past. So you said, did you eat dinner? Se no usted, that's an action. We use did. So what's the auxiliary we used to talk about conditions in the past? Somebody, anybody? I don't know, teacher. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar que ocupamos para hablar de condiciones en simple past? People? Did, was, and where. Very good. Was and were. Was and were. Si por alguna razón se le olvidó o no lo sabía, write it down. Escríbalo. Was and were for conditions. Did is for actions. How do you say estábamos nerviosos? We we were nervous. We were nervous. We were nervous. We were nervous. Action or condition? Condition. Condition. It's a condition. How do you say estuvo caliente hoy? It was. It was. It was hot today. It was hot today. Estuvo caliente ayer. It was hot today. So it's a condition. So once again, if you're if you're talking about actions, you have to use did. If you're talking about conditions, you use was and were. Not where, were, was and were. Questions or comments? Questions. Understand, teacher. Excuse me? Understand. Good. All right. So let me check this here. How do you make negative questions in the past? Mire y no comió. No comió. That's a negative question. How do you say that in English? Wasn't it? Mm -mm. It is an action. So what is the correct form instead of saying wasn't? Didn't you eat? Didn't you eat? Didn't you eat? Entonces usted eat? está comiendo y su esposo su esposa le dice, didn't you eat? No comiste. Didn't you eat? Yeah. Y si es, por ejemplo, no te, no te vi. I didn't see you. I didn't see you. Right, I didn't see you. 
So any negatives about actions, usted necesito ocupar didn't. Didn't you eat? I didn't see you in the park. You didn't work today. You didn't send the homework. So all those examples are negatives about actions. How do you say el examen estuvo difícil? The yes. exam? The exam was difficult. Exactly. The exam was difficult. How do you say los exámenes estuvieron difícil? Uh -huh. That's a plural the statement. Were, were, the exam were difficult. Exactly. The exams were difficult. Were difficult. Questions or comments? Y usted tiene que insistir en, en ver de qué manera lee, escucha, ve algún video donde estén ocupando el simple past. Very simple. You go to a YouTube and you put simple past stories, simple past exercises. O se puede ir a Google a donde está la barrita y ponga simple past exercise. Ahí le van a aparecer gran cantidad de uh, 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 worksheets. Yep. Questions or comments, people? No? Okay, so let's continue with the book. So yesterday we were practicing with the simple past and past continuous. We practice this conversation. And today we have more practice. So fíjese bien, we are on page 42. Page 42. Somebody can somebody read the, the pink information, please? Uh, four, part four. Yes, please. How to use the verb be in the past? Yes, no questions. Mm -hmm. the, the, the following sentence, please. Use the past of P to ask questions about situation in the past. Good, very good. Thank you. Thank you, Delmi. Situation is a synonym of condition. Situation is a synonym of condition. So to make questions, you're going to use B. What is the past tense of B? Was and where. Was and where. Was and where. So, empieza con was, where. The subject or the personal pronoun plus complement. Was the training interesting? ¿Qué le están preguntando ahí? El entrenamiento estaba interesante. Ajá. Mire, el entrenamiento estuvo interesante. The answers are very simple. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Were all the employees at the conference? ¿Qué preguntan ahí? Estaban todos los empleados en la conferencia. Ajá. Y como le decía ayer, si usted está preguntando con was, usted debe responder con was o wasn't, si fuese negativo. Si está ocupando, si está preguntando con did, la respuesta tiene que ser did o didn't, si es negativa. And if you're making a question with were, the answer has to be complemented with were. So were all the employees at the conference? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. What? Questions or comments? Pregúnteme si estuve hoy en la oficina. Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. Very good. You. Good. Okay. Alguien que me pregunte si estuve yo hoy en oficina. Why? 
you, you being at the office? Was you in the office? Uh -uh. It's not did, it's not was. Was you in the office? It's not was. was uh-uh, it's not was. Are you, were you at are the office? You. Were you? Were you at the office today? Ah, oh, okay. Uh-huh. Action. Action. No, condition. Condition. Or situation. Ahora, lo que yo hice hoy en oficina, enviar correos, a hablar con la gente y todo eso, esas ya son acciones. Pero cuando le preguntan, were you at the office today? ¿Estuvo hoy en oficina? It's a condition. Or situation. Okay. Right. Questions or comments, people. Ya usted se acaba de comer una hamburguesa y alguien le va a preguntar, ¿estaba buena? ¿Cómo va a preguntar si estaba buena? Did the hamburger cook? Mm -mm. Yes, Elsa. Elsa? Was the hamburger good? Was the hamburger good? You sound choppy, Elsa. Ya me confundí. Teacher, teacher, me escucho. Sí, ahorita sí la escucho. Ask me, please. ¿Quién era la persona que tiene una, una pregunta? Por la duda. So, voy a predecir probablemente lo que quería decir. Okay. Yeah, ask me, please. No, okay. Was, was and were are for conditions or situations. So, usted va a ver la última película de Jim Carrey. Pregúnteme cómo estuvo la película. ¿Cuándo vamos a ocupar? Yo, teacher. Ajá, ya. Yeah. Pregúnteme. Yes, Elsie. Teacher, perdón que mi audio no funciona bien. Ok, ask me the question, please. ¿Cuál era la pregunta, please? Uh -huh. ¿Te gustó la película? Sí, o, o, o no tenía una interrogante usted. Sí, que ya me confundí cuando usar was, were o el did. Sí, okay. siempre, siempre son en pasado. Ok, perfecto. Muy buena pregunta. Fíjese bien. Le voy a escribir esto para todos. Dice, was and were are the past form of be. It is used for situations or conditions. Mire lo que estoy escribiendo ahí. Was and were are the past form of be. It is used for situations or conditions. Yo le digo... Hoy fui a San Miguel. ¿Cómo? How do you say fui a San Miguel hoy? I went to San Miguel. Okay, I went today. to San Miguel today. Today. <coughs> y le doy una descripción. It was hot. It was hot. Estaba caliente. Ahora yo le digo. My brothers went to an interview yesterday. They were excited. My brothers went to an interview yesterday.
brothers, is that singular or plural? Plural. Plural. Entonces ya no voy a ocupar was, sino que voy a ocupar were. Mis hermanos fueron a una entrevista ayer, estaban emocionados. Estaban emocionados. So, was and were lo ocupamos para describir a uh, situaciones o condiciones. El did siempre lo ocupamos para pasado, pero con acciones. Entonces, pregúnteme si vi la película. Did you watch a movie? Good. Did you watch Did you watch the movie? Entonces, watch es una acción porque yo me senté, ocupé el control, estuve ca eh, cambiando. Did you watch the movie? Watch es un verbo de acción. Entonces, por esa razón yo ocupo el did. Todo lo que sea acción, usted va a ocupar did. Todo lo que sea situación o condición, usted va a ocupar was and were. What's the difference between was and were, people? A ver, alguien que me recuerde. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? The was es singular. singular was is plural. Were, were, plural. Ok, una pequeña observación. No puede generalizarlo porque en el was usted pone I, he, she, and it. Entonces, ¿todos son singular o plural? No. I, he, she, it. ¿Todos son singular o plural? No. No what? No todos. ¿Cuál de esos es plural? Ninguno. None. Sí. Yo, él, ella. Y recuerde, todo lo, todo lo singular... Todo animal o todo objeto que sea singular, usted siempre lo va a representar con it. Ahora, ¿por qué razón no puede decir usted singular y otro es para plural? Porque were lo ocupamos para usted, nosotros y ellos. Y cuando dice usted, ¿is that singular or plural? Singular. Singular. Entonces, por esa razón, no puede generalizar diciendo one is for singular and the other one is for plural. Porque cuando usted ocupa word, ahí va usted o tú o vos, como decimos en El Salvador. Entonces, no puede generalizarlo. ¿Me explico? Yes, teacher. Ok. Any, any questions or comments so far? People, questions or comments? Thank you, teacher. Okay, anybody else? Any other questions or comments? Eso es lo que espero de todos. Cuando usted tenga una duda, por muy pequeña, mediano, grande que usted la sienta, pre eh, pregunte. <coughs> That's why I'm here. Y este es el lugar donde usted se puede equivocar para cuando usted esté hablando con alguien en la vida real, suene lo más natural posible. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? Teacher. Yes. Eh, en la pregunta que hace, do you watch the movie? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué no se ocupa el so? So, how do you spell so? Oh, oh, ok, ok. Buena pregunta. Cuando usted ocupa el did... Did automáticamente se lleva toda la oración a tiempo pasado. Esa es la función de did, ocupar en tiempo pasado. Entonces, como el did ya está haciendo su función, el verbo no necesita ir en pasado, como lo hacemos en español. Viste la película, pagaste el recibo, hablaste con tu jefe, eh, viste el periódico. En Spanish es different porque los verbos van en tiempo pasado. Entonces, English is different. English, cada auxiliar o cada modal 
tiene una función en particular. En este caso, did lo ocupamos para hacer preguntas en tiempo pasado. Y como did ya está haciendo su función, el verbo siempre se queda uh, en, en, en su forma base. Ok, thanks. Yes. Ok, anybody else? Pregúnteme si hice la pregunta. Francisco preguntó. How do you say preguntar en inglés? Ask. 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 Did you ask the ask? Did you ask the question? The question. question. Did you ask the question? Recuerde, question significa pregunta y también significa cuestionar. Hay, hay mucha diferencia entre preguntar y cuestionar. Ask es preguntar. Yes. Okay. Question significa pregunta, pero también significa uh, cuestionar. Give me a second. <coughs> okay, questions or comments, people. Teacher, entonces, yes. eh, al, en, al usar el did, este, necesariamente, obligadamente, debe de haber un verbo básico, ¿verdad? Yes. Su forma base. Sí. Y al oh. usar el was, eh, no necesariamente debe de haber otro verbo. No, no, no debe de haber otro verbo. Cuando usted ocupa Correcto. was or were, usted generalmente va a ocupar adjetivos. Sí. Ok, thank you. Good, very good. Questions or comments, people? Y recuerde, si por alguna razón no le gusta preguntar aquí en la clase, en el grupo, mande mi mensaje, Francisco. Oh, by the way, disculpen que no les he respondido a las... las uh, las preguntas sobre la plataforma. I'll do it okay. tomorrow morning. I'll do it tomorrow morning for sure. Okay? Okay. All right. So listen to this. Vamos a... Remember, um, a medida que vamos haciendo los ejercicios, le van a ir surgiendo preguntas. Y cuando le surjan preguntas, please ask me. Para eso tengo yo un salario, para responder sus preguntas. Dice part five. Read the following services and write questions to evaluate them using simple past and past of B. Then ask the questions to a classmate. This is the first chart. On November 1st, I bought a spare part for the printer at Spare ES. The price was $300. The brand was Ridwell. The customer service was great because we received all the information we needed. Questions about pronunciation or meaning. Read, read well. Read well. Oh, that's, that's, that's the name of the brand. Es el nombre de, de, de la marca. Read well or read well. Puede ser Rightwell, puede ser Readwell, uh, como es un nombre propio, es una marca, uh, no sé realmente cómo la pronunciaría. Yo diría Rightwell. Ok. ¿Qué dijimos que era un spare part? Ahí está. Un repuesto. 
Repuesto. Very good. Uh -huh. Okay. Any questions in the first part? In the second chart says on January 2nd, I bought the rich parts that were requested. The price was $30 each and they were installed in the sewing machine. The machine was working properly. ¿Qué dijimos que era sewing machine? Máquina de coser. Máquina de coser. Máquina de coser. Questions or comments? The red part, teacher? No. I put the red part. Compré el repuesto red. Ah, ok. Yes. Compré las los repuestos reads que fueron pedidos. Questions or comments? Pro properly, what is mean? Uh, adecuadamente o propiamente. Properly. Ahora bien, para usted hacer el ejercicio 5, construir esas preguntas, debe de entender qué es lo que hay ahí dentro de esos cuadros. Questions or comments? So, basado en la lectura que acabamos de hacer, usted va a escribir preguntas usando el pasado simple y el pasado de be. Usted puede ocupar was, were, or did. Entonces, tiene que chequear en sus apuntes cuando ocupo did, cuando ocupo was, cuando ocupo were. Are the instructions clear? Y también se van a responder, teacher. Yes. Respóndalas yes, también porque... Ajá, no, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yes. Thank you. Questions or comments, people? Okay, so let's go. Start making Sorry, the teacher, questions. Sorry, teacher, can you repeat the instruction? Sure. You need to read the information in part five and understand the information. Give me a second. Okay, so once again, you need to read the information and understand it. Una vez entienda usted qué es lo que hay en esos dos cuadritos, usted va a poder hacer preguntas in the simple facts. Let's go. Thanks. Good. Teacher. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, Moises. Uh, when I, when I, when I ask, uh, for example, ¿cuánto cuesta? ¿Cuánto te cuesta? ¿Cuánto cuesta? ¿Es how much o, o how much? How much? How, how many? Yes. How many? ¿Cuánto te costó? ¿Cuánto sería? How many quiere decir cuántos, pero estamos hablando de cantidades, 30, 40, pero eh, cantidades en general, 30 sillas, 30 personas, 30 casas. How much es cuando lo de lo que está hablando no se puede contar, se puede no es medir. Cuantitativo. Correcto, correcto. Cuando es cuantitativo es many. Correcto, correcto. ¿Y cuál es la excepción? ¿Puede contar usted dinero? Sí puede. Entonces, pero dice how much. 
¿Cuánto pagó? ¿Cuándo lo compraste? ¿Cómo estuvo la atención al cliente? En so on. Sí, Go ahead. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Juan Ricardo. Okay, so let's do the exercise. Disculpe, teacher, viene algo tarde. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que nos ha dejado? Ahorita estamos, eh, acabamos de leer la parte 5, los dos cuadros que están ahí con información y basado con lo que usted entienda, debe de hacer preguntas en el simple past tense. Ah, yes. Go ahead. Estos dos cuadritos, la número 5. Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome.
Any questions or comments? Teacher. Yes, ask me. Uh, Sería correcto. ¿Cómo no? How, how was the customer service a printer at the Spear? Yes. How was the customer service at, at, at what is the compliment? At Bridwell? At the Spear. Um, please repeat the question. How was the customer service? Uh -huh. The printer at the Spear. No sé si es okay, donde lo compraron. Okay, no, printer is a uh, impresora. So how ah. was the customer servant at Spare ES? Porque ahí está evaluando el, el, el atención al cliente del, del negocio, no del, del objeto. No, del negocio. Yes, how was the customer service at Spare ES? Yes. Thanks. Good. Teacher. Yes. I, I have a question. Ask me. Is correct to say what did you buy? What did you buy for the printer? Good. What did you buy for the printer? Yes. In and the and the and the answer. Uh huh. I I bought I bought a spare part at spare es. I bought a spare part. Period. Y ahí termina la respuesta. I bought oh, a spare okay. part. Yes. Okay, thank you. Good. How many more minutes do you guys need? How many more minutes do you guys need? Teacher, eh, solamente el primer cuadrito o los dos cuadros? Uh, ambos, ambos. Ah, oh, ok. Yes. ¿Cuántos minutos más necesitan? Five minutes? 
Okay, five minutes. Go ahead. Five Go ahead. Minutes. Go ahead. I'm going to stand up for one minute. Give me one minute. I'm back. I finished, teacher. Okay. Um, everybody, independientemente cuántas haya hecho, mándelas al chat, al Zoom chat. Go ahead, please. Okay. Y los que generalmente no me mandan nada al chat, por favor, háganlo. How long did they take to send you the part? Very good, Carmen.
How much did it cost? Very good. Solo recuerde, al inicio siempre va capital letter. Did you receive all the information that you needed? Very good. When did you buy it? When did you purchase sport for the printer? Sport for the printer? The purchase was made on November 1st. What's the meaning of sport? Uh, tell me, Guadalupe. Ours, I, I use. Okay. ¿Qué palabra quise poner? ¿Qué, qué, what word were you looking for? Partes de la oh, impresora. Okay. When did you purchase the part for the printer? Very good. Very good. How much did you cost? How much did you pay for the new shoes? Pay suena uh, mejor. How much? O puede poner, how much did it cost? ¿Cuánto costó los zapatos nuevos? Was the price interesting? Was the price interesting? How much did the spare part cost? Very good. How many requirements did they ask you for shipping? Very good. When was the spare part bought? When was the spare part bought? Entonces, um, bought va al, al, al final. Um, when was the spare part bought? When did you buy the spare part for the printer? I did on November 1st. Very good. Was the customer service good? Was the customer service good? How was the customer service? Very good. What day did you buy the spare part? Very good. Did you buy the spare part? Did you know the brand? How was the service? Did they leave your doubts? What was the price? When did you buy the part? Very good. Muy bien, Jose Arnoldo. So recuerde at the beginning of each question, the first letter is always capital. When did you buy the spare part for the printer on November 1st? How much did the spare part cost you? The price was $300. What brand of parts did you buy? The brand was Rightwell. How was the customer service? The customer service was great. Did they give you the information you needed? Yes, they did. Como ahí está preguntando acerca de ellos, la respuesta tiene que llevar ellos. Yes, they did. How much was the price of the parts of Ritz that you bought? The price was $30. Was the machine working? Yes, it was. How much was the price of the spare part? What was the brand of it? Very good. How many spare parts did you purchase? I did purchase one part. Very good. What brand did you buy? How was the customer service at Spare? Service was great because we received all the information we need. Did you buy a spare part for the printer? Yes, I bought on November 1st. November, capital M or lowercase? Capital letter. When did you buy the parts that were requesting? Uh -huh. How was the attitude of the seller? Did we receive all the information? Received tiene que quedarse en su forma base. Porque did automáticamente está cambiando todo a tiempo pasado. Uh, where the spare part, where, were the spare parts bought? Donde fueron comprados los respuestos? What did you buy on January 2nd? How much did that part cost you? It cost $300. 
How many machines did I repair? Did you buy a spare part for the printer? Was the printer expensive? Was the printer expensive? Uh, when did you go shop the spare part? How was the customer service? How was the customer service? Did you see how he did? Did you like the customer service? Yes, I did. Were the spare part bought? Okay, where was the spare part for? Give me a second. Okay, where was the spare part bought? When did you buy the part? Did you buy on November 1st? Es una pregunta, so tiene que ocupar el question mark. Where did you buy the parts for the sewing machine? I did buy at Rich Park, okay? What did you buy on January 2nd? I bought the Rich Park that were requested, very good. Were the parts installed in the sewing machine? Yes, they were installed. Was the machine working properly when you bought it? Very good. How did you buy the parts? Online or by phone? Phone, you have a PH. Where do you find the information about the spare part? Where did you find? Where did you find? We gotta concentrate on the simple past tense. How did the sewing, how was the sewing machine? The machine was working properly. Did they install the part in the sewing machine? Did they install? Did the rich part install in the sewing machine? Yes, they did, very good. Customer service? The customer service bring to us all the information we needed. Very good. Okay, so nos vamos a quedar ahí. Eh, espero haya puesto atención cuando leí sus ejemplos, pero you're getting the idea. You're getting the idea. Questions or comments? No questions, no comments. Les voy a enviar el link para que miren un video. Pay attention. Challenge yourself how much you can understand. ¿Qué les acabo de decir ahí? Challenge yourself to see how much you understand. ¿Qué les digo ahí? mismo. To see how much you understand. Para ver qué tanto entiende. Give me a second. Okay, so please watch the video, take notes, 
Y si hay algo donde dice, fíjese que no le entiendo qué dice en el minuto 5-3, o no entiendo qué dice en el minuto 1-20, take notes. Go ahead, watch the video, please. Okay, teacher.
All right, questions or comments, people? Questions, questions? Question. Uh huh. No questions, no comments. Del 1 al 10, ¿cómo lo siente de difícil? Está oh, bonito el video. 10. 10. 10. 7. Ok. 9. 9. 7. Ok. 7. So, ok. Everybody's mentioning different numbers. Pero sí uh, lograron entender eh, la, la, la cómo hacer, how to use was and were. Uh -huh. Ok, so ese es uno de los muchos videos que usted puede encontrar en YouTube where you can practice the simple past uh, tense. Ok. All right, so let me take attendance. Please say present when you hear your name. And please activate your camera when I say your name. Okay. Give me a second. Okay, Alex Martinez. Alex Martinez. Absent. Francisco Godínez. Present. Good. Delmi Gómez. Present. Kenia Ruiz. Kenia, Kenia. Okay, she's absent. Uh, Juan Delgado. Present. 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 William Perez. Present. Good. Susana Jimenez. Susana, Susana. Absent. Jose Corea. Present. Thank you. No, 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 no. Okay. Judy Cuellar. Judy. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Avendaño. Present. Present teacher. Okay. Elsa Merino. Present teacher. Good. Noemi Vázquez. Noemi, Noemi. Good. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Ruben Campos. Ruben, Ruben. Absent. Helen Barraza. Helen, Helen. Absent. Moises Rodriguez. I am here, teacher. Good. Maricela Velasquez. Maricela, Maricela. Thank you. Ana Mercedes Amaya. I am here. Good. Andrea Vasquez. Present, teacher. Good. Carmen Calderón. Present, teacher. Good. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Absent. Reina Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Iris Cañas. Present. Very good. And Rafa Barrientos. Present. Good. 
All right, let's continue. <clears throat> Give me a second. <clears throat> Here we are. All right, so let's continue. We are on page 43. Page 43. Okay, can you see my book? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, so it says, where do trainings take place in your company? Who are the eligible people to go to trainings at your workplace? ¿Qué le están preguntando ahí? What are they asking for? ¿En qué lugar toman las, las eh, capacitaciones? capacitaciones? Ajá, en la compañía. Ajá. And the second question. ¿Dónde es elegible para todos? En... ¿Quiénes son el trabajo? la gente elegible para ir a capacitaciones en su lugar de trabajo? La respuesta debería de ser toda la persona que trabaja para la compañía, todos deberían de recibir training. Yes, yes. So, uh, hay diferentes clases de training que pueden ofrecer en las, uh, en las compañías. Computer training, uh, soft skills, uh, different, different types of training. Okay, so I'm going to read the conversation. Um, what do you see in the picture? Two persons. Two people. Two people. How many men? One man. How One many man. ladies? One man. man. Uh -huh. What's in the background? What do you Watch see it. in the background? Watch this. A library. Okay, a bookshelf. A, a clock. Ajá. Ahí le voy a poner otra vez ahí. Bookshelf. Bookshelf. And a clock. What's the difference between clock and watch? What's the difference? Watch the hand. It's for hand. Bookshelf. 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 Okay, what's a clock? Watch. I guess it's yeah. uh, a reloj digital. Not necessarily. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, listen carefully. A watch is what you use for your hand. A clock is what you use on the wall. Watch es reloj de mano. Clock es un reloj de pared. En bookshelf es un estante para libros. Bookshelf. Questions or comments about the picture? Okay, so we have Mrs. Lewis. ¿Qué dijimos que significaba Mrs.? What's the meaning of Mrs.? Señora. Señora, someone else, alguien más? Señorita. Señorita, someone cuando else? No se, cuando no se sabe. Ok, someone else, alguien más? Señora de. Señora de. Señora de. Señora de. Señora de Luis. Señora de. Señora de Luis. Y dice así: Hi, Eric, how's it going? Hello, Mrs. Luis. I'm just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topics he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? 
Well, he was sometimes late and we left very late. Mm -hmm. Questions or comments? Wednesday. Uh -huh. Wednesday and we left. Eh, quiere decir salió. Sí, y salimos bien tarde. Y nos fuimos bien tarde. The yes, fear. Yes, fear. Uh -huh. Moises, left. you have another question? Huh? Uh -huh. The maiden left. Uh, can left? Be, can be, can be. Izquierdo, yes. Left. And out. Uh, exactly. So left has different meanings. Right, left. Right, left. That is one. Also left is the past tense of leave. <clears throat> it's the past tense of leave. And we left late. Y nos fuimos tarde. Nos retiramos tarde. Pues sí. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Que sabía mucho. Knowledgeable. 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 Listen carefully. Knowledgeable. And he was very knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Repeat the meeting. Huh? Uh, the meeting was knowledgeable. Um, where are you? ¿En dónde está? Los puse en silencio todos porque había interferencia. ¿Dónde está? Me dice. In part, Eric. It was excellent. It was yes. excellent. The speaker mm -hmm. had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Right. What is the question? What is the meaning knowledgeable? Con mucho conocimiento. Correct. Any other questions, people? Teacher, excuse me. Yes. I need I need more uh, for a moment. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Good. Any other questions or comments, people? Every time or everything. 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 Yes, everything. Is we is we. Or we is wise. Uh, what part are you talking about, Juan Ricardo? Uh, well, uh, no, well, a white side, medium, louder, and we write very light. Oh, well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Uh -huh. Nos retiramos tarde. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments, people? Okay, so listen to this. Los voy a poner a trabajar para que practice your pronunciation. Entonces, como lo hemos hecho siempre, si Moisés estuviese trabajando conmigo, yo voy a ser Mrs. Lewis y él va a ser Eric. Terminamos de leer, después... Él va a ser Mrs. Lewis y yo voy a ser Eric, con la idea de que todos tengamos acceso a practicar la conversación. Give me a second. Give me a second.
All right, let's go. Practice your pronunciation.
Teacher, how do you pronounce knowledgeable? Knowledgeable. 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 <coughs> Usted debe de preguntar, how do you pronounce? How do you pronounce? Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. No. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Dos sílabas. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Knowledgeable. Three. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Yes. Knowledgeable. 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 No se pronuncia el ed. No te no. Knowledgeable. 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 Okay. Any questions about the conversation? About the dialogue? No. Okay. No question. No question. All right. Good. We go here. So, aquí otra vez, fíjese bien, en la página 44, nos están recordando cómo hacer preguntas en tiempo pasado cuando la, el verbo es relacionado a acción. Entonces, Dice, use simple past, yes, no questions to get information on past situations. Did the speaker use a computer in the speech? ¿Qué están preguntando ahí? Did the speaker use a computer in the speech? Sí, sí, el, el, el facilitador usa la, usó la computadora en su presentación. Very good. Sí. Por Good. Did the listeners ask questions? Did the listeners ask questions? Que si, lo, eh, que si los eh, oyentes hicieron eh, preguntas. Very good. Very good. Y si usted se fija, ya sea que la respuesta es positiva o negativa, usted siempre va a ocupar did para positivo. Y siempre va a ocupar didn't for negative. Didn't. Uh -huh. Aquí les van otro, otro, otros ejemplos. Did, did the mechanic fix the car? Did the supervisor did the supervisor send the report? Send, va con N, no con M. Did the supervisor send the report? Mm -hmm. So, y el mecánico arregló el carro. Did the mechanic fix the car? Did the supervisor send the report? El supervisor envió el report. Usted puede analizar en ambos casos. La pregunta va con did. Fix se queda en su forma base. Send se queda en su forma base. ¿Por qué razón? Porque el did se encarga de conjugar toda la oración a tiempo pasado. Entonces el verbo se queda en su base form. Questions or comments. Questions or comments? No question. Okay. So this is what we will do. Yes, sir. Did you take attendance? Yes, I did. Who is asking? Uh, Ricardo Alvarenga. Let me check. <laughs> Yeah, I marked you as absent. Where were you? 
I was here. I don't know if you took attendance when we were watching the video at G2. Because mm, I maybe. watch I watch the whole video. Okay. Yeah, but you're you're here. You're at your present. Okay, thank you, teacher. Good, no problem. So fíjese bien. This is what we're gonna do in part five. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Con la información que está en paréntesis, usted va a armar preguntas en pasado simple. Entonces, en el número uno, usted debería de poner, Did you meet your boss yesterday? ¿Qué le están preguntando ahí? Did you meet your boss yesterday? ¿Y si se reunió con el jefe ayer? Ajá, exacto. Entonces, Did you meet? Entonces, así como acabamos de hacer la uno, Usted tiene que hacer las ocho preguntas. Let's go.
Any questions or comments, people? We're gonna continue with this activity tomorrow. Any questions about today's class? Teacher. Yes. Este, no podría ayudar, bueno, me podría ayudar con la pregunta dos de la tarea 16. Sí, eh, no sé a quién le comentaba hoy de que les, les pedí disculpas porque no les he podido responder, pero lo voy a hacer uh, mañana en la mañana, más tardar. I'll, yes. send, I'll send you the answers okay. to the chat. Yes. Ok, thank you. All right. Este, otra pregunta. Yes, ask me, Delmi. ¿Cu ¿Hasta cuándo es que llegan las clases? ¿Cuándo es que terminan? This Friday. This Friday. Oh. Y este, este de viernes quedamos Una pregunta. Yes, sir. Eh, ahora me cayó un mensaje que el facilitador nos iba a ayudar, que sería hasta el viernes, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, para la evaluación del curso, correcto. Hasta el no sé si con una encuesta. Yes. Ok, someone else? No. Ok, ¿quién fue el que me dijo ayer que se iba a quedar hoy? Mi teacher. Okay, thank you. Any other questions or comments, people? No question. Teacher, eh, la parte la parte seis también la vamos a llenar, verdad? Eh, no, solo las cinco. Ahorita solo las cinco. Okay. Only question, only part five. Okay, thank you. Any other questions or comments, people? Thank you very much. Have a good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Maricela. Hi, teacher. How are you, Maricela? Mm, fine. Fine, fine, good. teacher. Good. How was your day today? How was que hizo este día? Huh? Yeah, ¿cómo estuvo su día hoy? Uh, um, algo movido. <laughs> no sé a, little bit, a little bit busy. A little bit busy. A little, a little bit busy. Excellent, very good. Okay, uh, Maricela, do you have any questions about the classes? Um, in the topic that was where, um, más o menos. Okay. Pero aún me pierdo en ese. Okay, le voy a explicar aquí en el chat. Fíjese bien. El, um, exit train. La cuestión se oh, aquí está. El did lo ocupamos for actions in past. 
el TID lo ocupamos para Actions in Pass. Pregúnteme si envié el reporte. Uh, sería, did you send the report? Good. Did you send the report? Pregúnteme si hablé con mi hermano. Did you speak with uh, brother? Ok, very good. Entonces, el was y were was and were for conditions in the past. For conditions in the past. Entonces, una acción es bien diferente a una condición. Una condición, yo le pregunto, mire cómo estuvo el examen. Y usted me dice, it was easy. It was easy. Estuvo it was bien. easy. Estuvo fácil. Ah, it, Estuvo ah, it fácil. was fácil. It was easy. Usted me dice, fíjese que fui al hospital. Yo le pregunto, ¿y qué tal estuvo? Usted me va a decir, it was cold. Estaba frío. It was cold. Ah. Estaba frío. Entonces, cuando estamos hablando de condiciones o circunstancias, usted va a ocupar el was o el were. El was lo ocupamos con yo, él, ella y cualquier cosa que esté uh, en singular. El were lo vamos a ocupar con you, we, they. Tienen exactamente la misma función. Lo que cambia es el, el, el pronombre personal que usted está ocupando. Y ahí están sí, esos ejemplos. Ellos hicieron, hazlo así. El, 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 el did es para acciones. Was y were son para condiciones o circunstancias. Ah, por eso me preguntó to was today, ¿verdad? How was your day? Exacto. Ah, How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Exacto. Yep. Okay. Any other questions or comments, Maricela? And the ask what the, the question uh, sería sort of yes, si was, or yes, or no. Ajá, si, si, el, si le están haciendo una, una pregunta que inicia con was y were, la respuesta siempre va a ser sí y no. Entonces, uh, yo le pregunto a usted, mire, y habló con su hermano. Sí. Was he happy? Estaba el contento. Uh -huh. Usted me va a decir, yes, he was, or no, he wasn't. Ok. Uh -huh. um, no, no recuerdo, pero estuvo también hablando sobre use the was, pero en el verbo le agregábamos el gerundio, el ing. Ah, ese es el pasado continuo. Entonces, uh -huh. usted me dice, Francisco, ¿qué estaba haciendo hoy a la una de la tarde? Yo le voy a decir, I was driving. I was driving. ¿Qué le digo ahí? I was driving. driving. I was driving. Estaba manejando. I ah, was driving. driving. Yeah, driving. O me dice, okay. ¿qué estaba haciendo hoy a las 7 de la mañana? I was cooking. Estaba cocinando. Okay. Entonces, todo aquello que va con el was y el were y el gerundio del verbo, ahí está hablando en pasado continuo. Mm, ok. Ya. Yeah. Igual la respuesta sería, ah, bueno, ahí sería el complemento. I, 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 I was, was cooking, I was reading, I was cleaning my house. Y así sucesivamente. Uh -huh. Ya. Yep. Right. Ok. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Maricela? No, teacher, I am solo practice, only practice. Exactly. Exactly. I have a problem with the pronunciation. Okay. Other, other, algunas palabras. Sí, está bien. Y recuerde la práctica hacia el maestro. Practice makes perfect. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Have a good night. Okay. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.